Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 68 of Age of Wonders, uh, Planet Fall. Uh, turn 47 is going to be a very important uh, decision point for us. Uh, the reason for this is that, uh, number one, is that uh, we are being asked uh, to, we can now uh, annex uh, a property next to uh, South Central and I am betting uh, this is a very very enticing piece of property uh, because it is uh, it has uh, another 10 growth to it uh, so that would be an excellent piece for growth so that means the growth here would be even faster However, I am, uh, I think I'm reserving this for uh, Energy Central because Energy Central should be able to spawn uh, Whoa, another growth, another colonist in three turns. So I don't think Hui Jiang will have the ability to annex stuff in the next three turns because right now he is having an altercation with uh see hui jang declared war on michael so uh relations in different status war so so while they're fighting i don't think he will be wasting resources to uh annexation i think he will be dedicating a lot of stuff to uh, promote buy more soldiers. Uh, South Central re uh, produced a uh, central bio farm. Production ready. Okay, so the next one we are producing is is the recreation center. I think. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the next one here is uh, harness research happiness. Oh, happiness research station. Uh, where's this? Happiness event in colony. Which is this one? Uh, oh, this is the research day. Okay. So we got five more food. Oh, that will reduce their... Uh, it did not actually impact their uh, turn. Meaning, if we bring this uh, energy here... Oh, it will turn into... Uh, no, let's just, uh, let's just let two turns go by. Uh, the reason is that, uh, we are working on this, uh, geothermal fault over, fault over here. So that, uh, in, it will take two turns anyway. Oh, three turns, rather, to, uh, complete. So, uh, hopefully this uh it will not negatively impact it will negatively impact our uh happiness or morale uh, production uh for one turn because uh we will be uh annexing it in two turns once we get the additional colonists it will not have 12 colonists so we can annex it and the happiness production here is about is plus 16 so it will it we the negative eight to it will not be significant. Uh, okay, so right now, so this is Hui Jiang. So instead of doing that, which I think I would rather have uh, be given to this uh, energy city, I think uh, this sector will be uh, growing. There's no need for, I mean, it, there's no need for it to grow more because uh, all of these are in these areas are like kind of dead zones like this uh, it will produce a negative something uh, although it has food and one energy uh, it will add 10 uh, happiness though uh, because uh, we have and then uh, it has geothermal activity so again we need to to work on that one and then this one uh, is being claimed by Hui Jiang. Uh, this will have again. It's volcanic. I I don't think volcanic can be 
uh, what do you call this? It can be uh, repaired. And over here, uh, what is this? Uh, again, volcanic. I don't know. I have to research that if volcanic can be repaired or not. Uh, if it cannot be repaired, we will not colonize that spot. This is like uninhabitable. Uh, how about this? Uh, again, we have a volcanic issue here. So, he, this one cannot expand really much. Uh, except over here, and then we can... Over here and here. And then, we, uh, then we're blocked off by Elysium. By the Elysium here. Because Elysium takes a whole big area. Yeah, we will be bordering on the Elysium. And what is this? Uh, oh, we can get to there. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, we might actually be forced to... So what is the... Will this border kind of border that one? Will it border this one? Oh yes, it will. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then we will be sliding into Valentine's area. And then from here we can I think I think we can continue to come down here, maybe. No. So this one is actually a big area. No, it's a small zone, so there should be something here that uh what's this? Uh To that uh oh hopper hound nest uh it has a uh, hopper hound nest okay it, that's a spawner okay uh so anyway that's going forward so that's why i said 47 is going to be very important for us uh and um so i think at, at 12 i think we will have maxed out our uh, ability to expand. Uh, yeah, we don't need to expand, uh, what do you call this, uh, research uh, central. Uh, anyway, so that's the plan. That's the plan. And then what's this? Uh, ops ready to launch. What's that? Operations primed and ready. Oh, I guess uh, we can we can deploy this uh, in this area or closer to this area so we can see the war going on between Hui Jiang and uh, and is this uh, I think this is the uh, Elysium right Emerald Elysium so if we put something here we can actually see what's going on. Uh, or do we put it up here? Because uh, this mountain peak is not gonna, going to be... Uh, it's not going to be claimed by anybody. Right? And it will give us a view. No, it's further down here. So maybe... Uh, who owns this one? Okay, nobody owns that one. What if we put it here? Uh, this is the peak, and then it will push back this area anyway. So, the earlier one is what we have here. So, if we put something down here... Uh, we can see what's happening here. So, that's a colony. Or should we just put it down here in between these two guys? Uh, so that is uh, Hui Jiang's. If we put it down here, we will have sight on what is happening down here. Okay, um, do we want to do that? 
let's let's say if we want to uh, set operation. Uh, what does it require? Uh, it will require uh, operation strength of four, defense of four. Uh, is does that mean it requires? I think five. Uh, five energy uh, and one turn. I, I wonder if there is a maintenance cost to that one. Uh, if we check on this one that we sent down here, uh, no, this is this our South Central. I mean here that we sent down here, is there a uh, uh, a covert monitor? Yeah. It doesn't say, right? Send surveillance data to its owner. Jack Gelder, close. So it does not require a... Uh, I think close to his colony would be good. Uh, actually down right here. It will give us eyesight into this area and... Or if here... Here. It would give us what's this? This is Jiangs, right? Uh, yeah, that's Hui Jiangs. So you we'll put it down here. We'll get an insight into his area, or we can put it up here, uh, right here on the mountain, and we can actually see. Uh, because they need to take out his uh... Oh, these guys have... Have they uh, recovered? How come we can't? Uh... Let's look on the politics, diplomacy. Uh, why are they still around? Why are they still around? This is they're defeated. So how come? So will they attack directly this one, uh, Fondam Blue, or will they attack uh, Avon Mill? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, I'm really conflicted. Uh, I think we put it down here on the mountain. Yeah. Okay, let us do the operation. Wait, did we designate the, the, the place? No, we did not. We... What are we doing Doing up here? Yeah, okay. Or can we only have one at a time? Uh, you know what? Let's not do that because we might be only be allowed to do only one at a time. Okay, anyway. Um, so we have... And who are these guys? Oh, similar to the one we faced before. Uh huh. Auto combat. I don't think uh, they were. E they're even close. Do we get even harmed? Uh, just a little bit for our. Let's watch the replay. Yeah, I think we're we're way OP, right? Uh, compared there, and both of them, uh, it's only one air unit and two that are uh, that are melee guys that can jump five uh, 
paces. Wow, see, I don't understand why these guys are going so close. Uh huh. The AI is not really smart. But we'll see how it works out. But it makes sense to feed in the uh, melee guy as bait. Yeah, they're dead immediately. <laughs> Too far from anyone, he can't even do any damage. See, okay. Enemy destroyed. Enemy annihilated. Okay, we're just way OP. Why are you even running away? Oh, just to flank it? Enemy annihilated. <sighs> Our forces are victorious. <laughs> We even give them a, a free hit. Uh, okay, done. Uh, take the item leg exoskeleton system. The getaway. Uh, this convoy s seems to be the site of a failed spacer raid. A skeleton in spacer apparel was found inside the wreck, still clutching, uh, clenching the valuable item leg exoskeleton system that led to its demise uh, ex exoskeleton system grant the hero fast movement and one level of stagger resistance additionally oh so that's something like a mod tier 3 defense mod so is the hero thing uh, it doesn't say it's a hero mod is it I think it's got to be a hero mod okay let's just take And then who is this person? Uh, oh, it's a Paragon faction. Uh, this guy's a Paragon faction too, right? Uh, this is the only one we need to take. I think we need to bring these two guys back. Uh, because once we spawn the uh, once we spawn the colonizer, uh, we need uh, we need to have those two guys uh, act as escorts to come down here. Uh, boy, that was this was taken already. That is the one I wanted. Uh, we have a non-aggression pack with it. Uh, if we come down here, uh, we can we can establish our colony here, and we can take this. Uh, it has a cosmite, and we can also take this. and then we can go back up to and take this or that one will be taken by this one coming down here ah uh, so okay anyway um uh, yeah this was the rich price right here but they took it already oh jack valentine did so i was thinking i think we need to move them back Can move one space. Uh, can Jack move another space?
What? They can't move? Okay. Um, hmm. And also, the other thing why 47 is so, uh, episode, uh, turn 47 is, is very important is that we are sending uh, Ilya home. Oh, so our hero actually leveled up. Cool. Uh huh. What? So what kind of oh uh, piloting? Uh, do we want piloting? Dead eye. Uh, he's got range, so no problem. Uh, air commander, no. Uh, disrupting hack. Uh, active ability, single action, uh, sends a disrupting wave to hack an area, uh, com compromising mechanical and cyborg units in that area. Cooldown of two. Field medic, no. Ground uh, commander, no. Uh, iron discipline, no. Override daemon, single action, target enemy mechanical or cyborg unit is force forcibly infected with a hostile de demon that attempts to wrest control of the unit. They have a strength chance to become mind controlled and switch allegiance until end of combat. On failure, the unit is disabled instead. Can only be used once per battle. The problem though is that it is very far. You know, it. Uh, how about steady aim? Oh, she, does she, she already has an improved overwatch. Why are what what would this do? Uh, see, she already has improved Overwatch. This unit can enter improved Overwatch, allowing to automatically shoot at an enemy that moves or attacks within its field of view. Within twenty percent, uh, with a twenty percent accuracy while in Overwatch. So we don't need this. Or we can put that in piloting, but uh, what does steady aim do? Attacks with range weapon are 15% more accurate when fired from cover. Uh, or we can have a rallying cry. Uh, oh, oh, it's one action. The hero rallies their allies. All friendly units ignore morale penalties for two turns. Can only be used once per battle. So I really don't know. This one is very good for a, a melee guy. But since she is a sniper, uh, she needs to be hitting people from very far away. Uh, so I don't know what to give her. Uh, this one is a full action thing. Uh... I don't know. Or maybe we can just carry it over to the next one. Uh, or we can just put it uh, as in, what do you call this? This uh, improved steady aim. Uh, maybe there are a rallying cry. So just to fill it up. What's iron discipline? Strong discipline gives this hero plus three. Can uh, we don't we don't need that because we're very far away. Uh, ground commander. Uh, no, we turned her into a uh, light infantry, right? Uh, infantry commander. Uh, although if we turn her into a ground commander also, so that she can be flexible, she can have both. Uh, yeah, she can have both uh, light and heavy units in her stat. How about coordinated strike? That is not bad, actually. Mark an enemy unit for your forces to focus on. The target is 40% easier to hit until, but it's nine point uh, nine distance away. How about we just improve her vitality by 10? She doesn't really need it, though. How about that eye? Critical hit chance. 
piloting would be nice so that we can put her into an air wing or something uh, and then we can move this down to you know we can put her in a plane or oh no we can't we can put her yeah in a plane or a tank because uh, it needs p uh, piloting advance uh, hmm okay so I am I, I'm really torn uh, and I don't have a good uh, handle on her so maybe we can just uh, postpone not letting her uh, do any moves oh where is she why why is she why can't oh how come she can't move uh, eight 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 Okay, anyway, uh, who's the next person? Uh, this guy, oh, we can. We need to move the, these guys around so that, the other thing that we want, we might want to consider is buy another unit from the Paragon. We have 122 uh, worth of, uh, Yeah, we have 122 worth of worth of influence so that if we buy another unit this will also increase our uh, see if we buy this oh we don't get another 10 I thought every time we buy something, we get another 10. Or we can buy this. This purchase will improve your favor by 10. Uh, while this is active, you're no longer suffer popular. You also achieve, receive four influence every turn. Huh. Okay, I'm really undecided. Okay, uh, let me cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.